Hi, I'm Jenny, back with this week's entertainment news. Back in 1966, Star Trek aired on NBC as Captain Kirk and Spock traveled through space on science fiction adventures that were way ahead of their time. The show revolved around the crew of the Starship Enterprise, an exploration craft with a five-year mission to boldly go where no man has gone before. It starred William Shatner as James T. Kirk with a multicultural cast including African-American Nichelle Nichols as Uhura and Japanese-American George Takei as Hikaru Sulu. Now, 48 years later, the sci-fi and fantasy genre is bigger than ever, thanks in part to the revolutionary cultural impact of Star Trek. Star Trek has spawned dozens of movies, TV series, and toys, and is in many ways considered the biggest rival of Star Wars. Director J.J. Abrams has helped reboot the movies recently, with Star Trek in 2009 and the sequel Star Trek Into Darkness in 2013. And now he's working on Star Trek Episode 7. I request permission to go after him. I cannot allow you to do this. Because of the revolutionary TV series like Star Trek, the hottest shows this fall include tons of science fiction and fantasy. On Fox, CBS, ABC, Disney, and The CW. ABC's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is returning for Season 2 on September 23rd as Agent Coulson and his team of renegade spies save the world again. If you like DC Comics, then you'll definitely want to check out Gotham on Fox, which airs on September 22nd. The show will explore the early years of classic Batman villains as they rise to power in the gritty city. Then on The CW, the third season of Arrow will be aiming for the usual hooded justice as Oliver Queen saves Starling City yet again with his sidequicks, quickwits, gadgets, and martial arts. And on October 7th, The Flash is going to be speeding into your TV set. Are comics not your thing? Well, on September 22nd, Fox's Sleepy Hollow will return for its second season as Ichabod Crane battles the dastardly four horsemen, especially the headless one, with Lieutenant Abby Mills. In other fantasy news, Once Upon a Time returns on September 28th, and it's getting a frozen makeover. Disney's famous ice sorceress joins the series for its fourth season, and she's bringing friends. Then, Disney and Lucasfilm are wielding the force with Star Wars Rebels on October 3rd, exploring the early roots of the Rebel Alliance that will one day challenge the Empire. Wow, looks like my DVR will be pretty full this season. <laughs> What did he say? He said hello, hyperspace. Ever since its founding in 1976, the Toronto International Film Festival, or TIFF, invites mega celebs and filmmakers to show off their latest indie movies and personally crafted flicks in Toronto, Canada. This year's TIFF, which runs from September 4 to September 14, is already glittering with red carpet magic and silver screen debuts that are dazzling both Hollywood insiders and public attendees. In The Big Game, which debuted at TIFF, Samuel L. Jackson plays an American president chased through the Scandinavian wilderness by bad guys after his Air Force One plane is attacked. His only chance of surviving? A helpful 13-year-old boy. Then everyone's favorite Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., is starring in The Judge, which explores a father-son relationship drama. Who's the dad? Actor Robert Duvall, who's played all kinds of tough guys in flicks like The Godfather and Deep Impact. Fans won't believe that Captain America star Chris Evans has taken to the director's chair with his romantic tale of a man who helps a woman that's robbed and stranded in New York City. Who knew big bad Captain America was really a romantic at heart? Aww. For Oscar-worthy entries, The Theory of Everything looks positively golden. It explores the real-life story of physicist Stephen Hawking and his loving wife Jane. This movie follows Hawking's rise from Cambridge to become a legendary physicist and his battle with motor neuron disease which has left him wheelchair bound and barely able to communicate. His mind though is sharp as ever. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. After six weeks in theaters, Guardians of the Galaxy has become the highest grossing movie of 2014 and is on track to be the most successful Marvel movie ever. Ever since Robert Downey Jr.'s mega-popular role as Iron Man in 2008, Marvel comics are hotter than ever. The biggest money-making Marvel movies are The Avengers at number one with $1.5 billion, Iron Man 3 at number two with $1.2 billion, and then Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3 in third, fourth, and fifth place with $821 million, $783 million, and $890 million respectively. 
Now it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy may be on its way to becoming the best-selling Marvel movie of all time, as it's already racked up $588 million since its release on August 1st and hasn't even opened in China. Despite the fact that Guardians may dethrone its peers, Marvel owes much of its comic movie success to the star power of Robert Downey Jr., whose Iron Man really got the ball rolling. While we can look forward to seeing Downey Jr. in the upcoming Avengers Age of Ultron, he says there are no plans for Iron Man 4. They'll come back. Because we'll need them to. This week, your favorite dolphin, Winter, splashes back into theaters with Dolphin Tale 2. In 2011, the based on a true story, Dolphin Tale explored the life of Winter, a ball-nosed dolphin who lost her tail after getting caught in a crab trap. In 2005, she was rescued by the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, and the film explored how she was given a prosthetic tail so that she was able to swim once again. Although there are some differences between the real story and the movie, like where Winter was found, her age, and how long it took to make her new tail, much of it is accurate. Now Dolphin Tale 2 is hitting theaters with even more heartwarming stories from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Although Winter is still the main animal character, the film also explores the stories of Hope, the baby dolphin, Rufus the pelican, and Mandy, a dolphin successfully released back into the wild. Morgan Freeman, Harry Connick Jr., and Ashley Judd return with their incredible acting, pulling at your heartstrings as you cheer for the animals to recover from tragedy. We don't know for sure if dolphins feel friendship. It feels like they do. That's not a bad thing. 